Good morning guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a suspended ceiling and add cove light to it. So here I have considered a very small room. You can see here, it's a single room. For this, I'm going to make a suspended ceiling and then add cove to it. Google for suspended ceiling. Uh, let's... So here you can see there are various designs for suspended ceiling. This part. Let's go to our dialogs and make some suspended ceiling. Whenever you are making a suspended ceiling, make sure you are in the plan view. And you have an option in the dialogs called. You can see that you can't find any options here because the file is open in site mode. So keep it in the story mode. Now you can see, insert ceiling into room and draw new ceiling. These two options are visible. Let's first insert ceiling into room. When you click on insert ceiling into the room, it will take the ceiling to your whole room. You can see here the area which is highlighted in the blue color that is my ceiling and let's go and check in our 3d model you can see here this is my ceiling here once you click on the ceiling it will ask you roof show you the roof height so my story height is three meters next it is asking me what is the distance of the shelf floor distance of shelf floor is nothing but the distance of ceiling from the floor level this height so i want my ceiling to be 2.7 meters above floor level you can see my ceiling went up i will show you again so, yeah, two point. so let me keep it 2.7 only okay then the other option available here is ceiling wide it's 0 0.27 it's nothing but 3 minus 2.7 is nothing but 0.27 the remaining part is nothing this ceiling thickness that is 0 0.03 if you sum up all the three my total uh, story height will be three meters then one more option we have here this is the very important tool available here that is closed sides once you click on closed sides you can see this thickness appears once you click on closed sides it is displaying me again another option that is of side offset it is asking me to define the offset let's define and check what happens let me keep it as 0.1 meter so now you can see side offset is nothing but the gap this one so just make the higher value so that it is clearly visible 0.2 meters so you can see here, to place the cove, this part of the ceiling has moved back. That is, I have moved this, this one, this part, 0.2 meters offset. So this one, you can use it directly when you have to place any ceiling and just give a, a suspended ceiling effect. Now suppose you want to draw the ceiling of your own considering your AutoCAD file then let's check it let's delete this one come to the plan view and select draw new ceiling so uh, I don't have AutoCAD file here but you can consider the layout and the dimension as per your CAD file so I will just uh, draw imaginary uh, ceiling I will consider here and close polygon I will adjust it to the straight line okay so let's check it out here I have drawn a ceiling such a way that it is not completely touching the walls I will select this one define the ceiling level from the floor I will make it 2.8 meters close off site suspended ceiling for this now we are going to add some cove light when you 
don't have any IS file for the curve line that is LED strip you can go to Google and from the ELR website you can easily get the IS files go to the products flexible strip under flexible strip Leo flex and you can download the IS file here so, so I have downloaded my IS file I'm going to import it go to import liminar file select next so I'm not going to make any changes here and once the IS file is imported come back to the plan view let's go to construction when you are in the story mode unless you have selected this ceiling the ceiling will be displayed suppose you are displaying some other object or something the ceiling will not be displayed so so now when you are placing light it is preferable to place the lights in the side mode so that my wall ceilings are visible so you can see this is my walls here is the window i have placed and this is the fall ceiling i'm going to i'm going to consider this draw line arrangement and draw lines from this point to this point so here only one light is placed i want to place continuous lights from here to here so come down here it is asking me to the number of luminaires let me make it some 15 numbers this is a total approximate number i'm just imagining and keeping it this how i do is i just don't want to see any gaps in between see if i keep it seven you can see there's a gap between two luminaires i don't want any gap between the luminaires so i'll just go and adjust the quantity in such a way that there's totally no gap in between them so 10 is a perfect for me I'll go and check it in the side view click here and you can see this is my light go and select the other view and yes this is my light I'm going to select like this and place here because this is my false ceiling to have a better visualization on how i'm going to rotate or place this uh, flexible strip click on display options and you can show light distribution now you can see this is my light distribution generally for flexible strips we make it 45 degree so i'm going to rotate it to check the exact rotation you can come down here in the arrangement rotation it is showing me 43 i'm going to make it 45 you can even bring it front or move it back i'll just keep it as a 3d model this is my led strip so when you want to draw on the so one side I have finished so when you want to draw on the other side it is very simple just select this one copy and paste I'm going to select this one go to the side control C control V bring this back go and check in the side view So this is my light. I want to change the orientation. It is minus 38. You can make it minus 45. So I finished placing my LED strips on two sides. This one and this one. Similarly, I'm going to place it on this side and this side. We are going to draw the LED strip on this side and going to copy it on the other side. So I will just select draw line arrangement. Specify the quantity such that there is no gap in between them. Go 
go to the side view and adjust the positions copy the same on the other side I have placed my LED strip on all four sides. Let's run the calculation and see the effect. So you can see the effect. My fall ceiling with the cold light. So this is it guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me. Thank you.